I have a modified Harbor Freight <clears throat> mower lift. Uh, it's the uh, lift that they have advertised, I think, for like $89 or $90. Um, I modified it with heavy duty casters that are cast iron, cast iron wheels, caster wheels that are cast iron, grade 8 bolts, uh, welded, fully welded, uh, some of the seams that are on this uh, lift. <clears throat> um, that right there has been welded. It's part of the handle. Um, I modified it so that I could use it for the uh, for lifting this uh, cheetah uh, 61 inch. And what I did was I tightened the second screw that's on the jack here. The jack. That screw. Uh, this is a two ton jack. <clears throat> when I first tried to use it. Um, the the lift wouldn't, would, wasn't able to pick this thing up, and it picks up a Freedom Z uh, easily, and um, the Freedom Z is a lot less, uh, probably about half the weight of this thing. This thing's probably 12, 1300 pounds. Um, so I knew that the two-ton jack should be more than enough. Uh, you know, we're not lifting the whole thing off the ground. We're just lifting the front end. And so I had to tighten this screw, this hydraulic screw, I guess, so that it would, uh, I guess, uh, somehow give it more pressure or something. I don't, I don't know exactly, but tightening that screw in uh, did uh, cause the uh, lift to be able to to pick this thing up. It it it, it works and it works. Uh, I did modify the arm, <clears throat> the square tubing arm here. It's thicker metal. Um, this is one thing that needs to be added because the the width of this velocity, well, cheetah is so much wider uh, that the <clears throat> that the square tubing that comes with this thing isn't wide enough, so you need a, <clears throat> I had to modify it, I have to actually buy it, I think it's a one and a half by one and a half square tube, square tubing, so I had to buy that, measure it, cut it, drill the holes out, all that stuff, and uh, like I said, uh, this is the main thing you need to purchase if you want to try to attempt to uh, lift a cheetah or tiger, tiger cat, or even the turf tiger, because those those machines weigh so much. This thing is, is so, it's, it's just a big old heavy... Uh, it's really just, it's like a tank. It's its solid, but it's just, its heavy. And uh, I'll show you. i show you that it can lift it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I always want to be cautious too. So I do have this uh, jack stand here. Especially when you're working underneath it, you need... You need to put something under there just in case this thing ever goes down. That's what this is. This is going to go in here and it kind of locks it in there without it slipping.
uh, there it is. I think it's all the way up. Uh, the thing that I like about this Harbor Freight mower lift is that it it's, uh, it's compact. It slides right underneath this thing easily. It's not bulky. And it does come apart as far as the arms. It's, it's easier for me to store. Uh, I'm actually about to uh, change the blades. I just, <clears throat> I wish I could film it, but I, I, I'm kind of in a hurry and uh, I'm not very good at actually filming what I do. I don't have a tripod or something to hold this, but uh, check out the blades that I that I have on this thing. I mean, they're the originals, but look how badly worn they are. I think I've only had <clears throat> 40 something hours on this and these blades are pretty bad. Um, I'm gonna replace them with these uh, H, I'm sorry, XHT. Anyway, 